Have you heard of Viktor Frankl? He is the author of Man's Search for Meaning. He was a Jew during World War II. He had a prestigious offer from a university in America to be a professor, but his parents were condemned to go to the Nazi concentration camps. He could have gone to America and from that position of privilege, power, and wealth, do something to help his parents escape their prison. But he couldn't leave them. He stayed, knowing that if they went to the death camp, he wanted to go with them. And then they died, and his wife also died. He survived and wrote this book that surpassed anything he could have ever written had he taken that professorship in America. Had his father died alone at the death camp, the meaning of his father's life would have been that of the six-plus million Jews who were murdered. But because Victor was with his father in the death camp, even though it was just a short while before his father was executed, the meaning of his father's life became Victor's logotherapy an approach and therapy that sheds light into the places of darkness that no one dares to go voluntarily, except the son who loves him. If you only live but a short while before you suffer and die, God chooses to suffer and die with you, if only to redeem the story of your life and for the world to read and honor in their memory of you. God does things in memory of you. God lives to honor your life. And God chooses to suffer when you suffer to honor your life. God could choose to be a powerful and privileged, perfect angel but he chooses to be a powerless, dying, emaciated prisoner because your life is an honor. God is honored to bring honor to your life. And even in your suffering, you bring this honor to God.